Workers say they took cover when a man with a gun started shooting at the Vandergriff Honda dealership in Arlington. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Police say that suspect who was shot by officers is a former employee who was recently fired. He's in critical condition, and remarkably, nobody else was injured. Fox 4's Dion England joins us now live from Arlington with the update. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, the main part of this dealership remains closed. We are told the service department has conducted limited business today, and there is also cleanup that is happening. And according to some, clearly, uh, after the shooting and the aftermath, it's all difficult to process. The cell phone video is chilling. A witness who asked not to be named started recording as the shooter, armed with a long gun, ran around outside the Arlington car dealership firing. The gunman is identified as 25-year-old Abbas Al-Mutari. Police ultimately shot and wounded him, noting at the time he never entered the dealership showroom. As the investigation continues, I spoke to Al Mutari's mother and sister by phone. They did not want to do an interview. Al Mutari's mother described him as someone who never spoke about things that bothered him, but rather kept to himself. She says he worked at the Honda dealership for roughly two months as a car salesman and never told her why he was fired. It's really, really, really hard to think about going through. You're not ready. Nobody's ready for it. Elizabeth Rostro's husband is a finance manager at the dealership. Today, as restoration workers moved about the facility, which remains closed in wake of the shooting, Rostro waited in her car while her husband retrieved some items. Police initially said Al Mutari did not enter the dealership, but Rostro says he was inside the building with the gun and that her husband helped to get multiple people out of harm's way. He made sure that a lot of people got out. He is definitely in shock right now. He has a lot of emotions, um, but, you know, we're here for him. Another witness who was buying a car at the dealership Thursday night would not talk on camera, but told me Al Mutari looked inside the office where he was and directly at him as he and two others crouched beneath a desk. He says they were terrified, then relieved when Al Mutari walked away as if he were looking for someone specific. Al Mutari's mother also told me she never knew her son to have a gun at her home where he lived. She also revealed another of their relatives also worked at the dealership. Meantime, Arlington police continue two separate investigations, the shooting itself and the review of the officer's actions who took down Al Mutari. Now, Arlington police investigators have spent today talking to a number of people about what happened here. Now, the relative of Al Mutaris, who works here, I'm told is his cousin. Uh, police would not confirm if that person is one of those they are talking to.